Hey, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is June 16, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says here 700,000 people without clean water as fallout from this damn flooding mount. Now, it says here, while much media reporting on the June 6th destruction of the Nova Kakovka Dam in Southern Crane has focused on the blank aspect to the explosion. Many thousands of people uh, downriver continue to suffer. All right, guys, let me stop right here for a second. So the water is bitter, is impacted. Many are getting S-I-C-K, including young ones. They are saying the young ones are getting hit even worse. Uh, the UN put out a warning a couple of days ago. They said that because of this situation, uh, food prices will skyrocket worldwide. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, a PayPal link and a Patreon link. Is in the description box. Also, guys, one dollar a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago at three four three two U.S. Highway nineteen number two, Holiday, Florida three four six nine one. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, you guys have been a huge, uh, great supporter towards the channel. So thank you so much for the love and support. Also, guys, if you can, uh, please pray for the New York prepper. Uh, I just watched his video. Uh, they uh, they really, really, really go, uh, going after the dude uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, posting certain things. So, uh, again, we're sending prayers to the New York prepper. Uh, again, this channel has seen it many times and a lot of channels out there too. So it's very important uh, to, you know, pray for, you know, the people that you watch, uh, the people that put out the news and stuff like this. It's not easy. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, Lewis, you got a good, you know, this is the easiest job. Absolutely not. You know, I get uh, guys, believe it or not, I do get a lot of headaches. I stay in the studio room and I do my research. This video here, it takes at least an hour and a half, even though it's like a 15 minute video, but the uploading, the editing, the title, the thumbnail, the sharing, the hashtag, the, you know, uh, it, it just time consuming, all right? This is not an easy job. And, you know, I used to be one of them people too, when, when uh, I was working at some kind of company and I was saying, man, these YouTubers got it so easy. Yeah, and uh, now I know how it is. So again, please pray for those that you support. Uh, make sure that uh, you keep praying for them to put out all the good information. But you guys already know how the platform is. All right. So 700,000 people. UN is saying that uh, food price is going to hit the roof. And um, it's going to happen worldwide. Now, I did talk about it in my other channel. It's very important you guys subscribe to this channel right here. Where is it? I lost it, guys. Well, it's the uh, Rise Up Warrior. I know you guys seen it many times. So I did post a video there and uh, UN is sounding the alarm. Prices will skyrocket. So who did it? Who took out this, you know what, D-A-M? We don't know. Nobody knows. And the story is going to go under the rug. That's it. Next one. Let's go to the next event. Nobody knows what happened here. Forget about it. Let's go to the next one. But the consequences, the aftermath. Oh, my goodness. You guys are going to remember this video. You, again, just wait to like at least a month or two. All right. So basic, it says here. Uh, while much uh, media reporting on the June 6th destruction of the dam in uh, Southern Crane has focused. Uh, okay, I read that part. I truly apologize, guys. 
So basic infrastructure and utilities have been destroyed in much of the region, leaving an estimated 700,000 in the broader area in need of clean water. Clean water. That's what they need right now. Clean water. Have you uh, guys? I know many of us been through, you know, again, situations like this, but uh, have you ever, uh, you know, had no food that you were so hungry, you had no one to turn to or even clean water? I mean, it's brutal. It's brutal. And me coming from a really poor family, you know, you know, being raised in Puerto Rico, I've seen a lot of it. I went to sleep hungry. I, guys, I still remember when I was like eight years old, nine years old, I was so hungry. My mother didn't have no money. We were poor, really poor. But then this one guy knocked on the door. We don't know who he was. Uh, he just came and just dropped a whole bunch of bag of food. I was so happy. I mean, I was so happy. So it says here, Al, okay, there's a news media uh, from one of the foreign countries uh, writes that among this place communities along the banks of Crane, uh, Nipro River, bottled water has become the most convenient uh, commodity. Well, basically it's worth gold. And all, uh, it is all poison a representative with the NGO Project Hope told the publication describing the impact the population as very tired and very stressed due to the ongoing humanitarian events. Now, whoever did this, they knew what they were doing. All right. That's really sad because what in the world they're supposed to drink? Dirty water? I mean, again, just imagine drinking salt water. So you have this news observers uh, that the man made flood washed away chemical fertilizers from cultivated fields, flushed away uh, pollutants from the riverbed, submerged cemeteries and released at least 150 tons of machine oil from the breached dam with additional fuel and industrial waste likely to have been discharged from plants around it. There are growing fears the floodwaters could bring waterborne. Oh man. Ugh. Based on the coppicing bodies. Oh, they're talking about like cemetery stuff. Uh, oh man. Um, when you have a lot of water in a cemetery graveyard, then stuff is going to start coming up. I mean, that's why I was told. That's why, you know, every like 15, 20 years, I have to dig up and, uh, you know, just get the casket out and make the hole a lot deeper and then put the casket back in because it rises up through time because of the flood. Now, just imagine this area that, I mean, cemetery filled with water and then you have, you know, certain casket just rising. And then the water is being mixed in uh, with the corpse. I mean, come on, man. Whoever did this is wrong, man. They are wrong. Um, man, it is all poison. A rep a representative with the NGO Project Hope told the publica uh, publication describing the impact of population as very tired and very stressed due to the ongoing hum humanitarian disaster. Now this news observer that the man-made flood washed away chemical fertilizers from cultivated fields, flushed away uh, pollutants uh, from the riverbed of submerged cemeteries and released at least 150 tons of machine oil from the breach dam with additional fuel and industrial waste like to have been discharged from plants around it. There are growing fears that the floodwaters could bring waterborne disease based on decomposing bodies, both human and animal. Oh my goodness. Which were taken out during the initial massive flooding. Uh, okay, so even that, uh, but again, I'd be more concerned too when it comes to the cemetery. Um, 
So you have health workers are concerned over possible events. Oh man. So the yellow blue country leader has continued to maintain that the bear has deliberately taken out the damn ass an act of tea. But here's the thing, guys, I'm getting information. You know, those shadow storm. You know, um, Britain that sent that to the yellow blue country. There are info that shadow storm took this thing out. Now, the first one was a sleeping giant high Mars. They tried to hit it with the high Mars. Didn't work. The second one, the sleeping giant mother is like, let me do this son and let me teach you how it's done. <laughs> so uh, the sleeping giant high Mars couldn't do it, but it seems like the shadow kind of did the job a little bit of it. So there are information that it was the sleeping giant mother a weapon that might have done it. All right, so give me a second here, guys. Kind of lost track here. All right, so it says, um, but the K, that's the gov of the bear, has pointed out it would have no reason to blow up a critical piece of infrastructure vital to sending water to the Crimea. The NATO sleeping giant officials and media reports to have grown largely quiet in terms of any potential investigation into which side was behind this event. Now, why would the bear take out their own dam? Why? Does it make sense? Why would the bear take out their own dam? They had that dam for... Well, that dam is older than the sleeping giant. <laughs> that dam uh, is way, way older than this, this sleeping giant country. And now all of a sudden the bear want to take it out. Once again, guys, there's a lot of stuff going on here. But uh, like I said, the sleeping giants and the sleeping giant mother might have done something. And now all of a sudden, 700,000 are in need of clean water. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a like to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.